Two Corpus Christi police officers are on paid administrative leave tonight this after a fatal altercation with a person of interest in a recent homicide last evening about this time. Our Michael Gibson has the latest information for us on the shooting death of 25 year old Eric Anthony Galvan and on what his relatives are saying. I was a little shocked. Uh, I found out last night. I got a text from my sister um, telling me kind of what they thought, what had happened. I was uh, very shocked to hear it. That's the reaction from Alfonso Perez to the shooting death of his cousin, 25-year-old Eric Anthony Galvan. Corpus Christi police officials say that two detectives and at least one patrolman showed up here in the 2000 block of Rockford Drive on Wednesday evening. They were looking to speak to a person of interest in a recent homicide. That person turned out to be Galvan. And the officers contacted the subject. Subject produced a weapon. A struggle ensued. During that struggle, the subject fired multiple rounds. Only after the officers, and probably too late in my opinion, only after the officers starting losing control of the suspect firing rounds did they fire back at the suspect. We sent a list of questions to the police department concerning the shooting death of Eric Anthony Galvan. One of the questions answered had to do with whether or not investigators had a warrant for Galvan or to even search his residence. Police say there was no search, but rather a consensual contact. The detectives asked the homeowner for consent to enter the residence, and it was granted. We also had another question about this. If you could turn off body cam and dash cams unless you have a witness. Repeat all units out at Rockford. Turn off body cam and dash cams unless you have a witness. After the shooting was over, we heard on the police scanner a directive telling officers on the scene to turn off their body cameras if they didn't have a witness. So we wondered why that happened. The police department says it's not uncommon for officers that are not actively involved in an investigation to turn off their cameras. I don't know anything about police procedure. I think it'd be odd. I mean, I would think you'd want body cam footage. That would be me as a person who works with other people, if I had the ability to have a body cam, I would want it to defend myself and my actions, but I don't know police procedures. District Attorney Mark Gonzalez did put out a press release over the shooting and said the individual was shot by one of the officers and may have also suffered a self-inflicted gunshot wound as a result of the struggle over the gun with police. Thursday afternoon, the medical examiner's office confirmed that Eric Anthony Galvan died of gunshot wounds. Now, once the investigation into the shooting is complete, it will eventually be presented to a Nueces County grand jury. Michael Gibson, 3 News.